so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video we are going to talk about how we can create a basic result body simulation in blender and that will be totally for a beginner tutorial and in this video we'll just talk about some basics of result body simulation and how we can demolish any kind of buildings and any kind of object using the result body simulation okay guys and here you can see guys we have a demo video here so we are going to make something like this in this video so make sure you watch this tutorial till end because in this video we'll just talk about some tips and tricks as well how we can create that kind of buildings and how we can demolish as well okay guys so without any further delay now let's just start the tutorial and here you can see guys this is my project file yeah here you can see this is my project file and if i'm just gonna switch into a solid mode and so if i'm just gonna play this animation again so we are gonna make something like this in this video by the way okay so now let's start it so first of all i will just start a new project file so all that guys here you can see we have a new project file and uh, first of all we'll just model a building and for modeling a building we need a cube and which is we have already here so let's start it but first of all we'll just enable our shortcut via so you guys can easily see which key i'm pressing on the right hand side okay so now start it so first of all i will just go to my front view and here i will just uh, select this cube and i'm just gonna scale this cube a uh, little bit something like that i think that much the scale is look nice to me yeah i think that much scale is enough and after doing the scale make sure you apply the scale first of all then i will just go to edit mode again this uh, cube and here i will just add one as loop here and i will just do control b and i'm just gonna bevel this something like that and okay and i will add one more as loop here and here i will also do bevel pressing the control p and now we have a, that kind of shape here which is look nice and after that i will just switch into my face mode and i will just select this middle face and i will delete it and i will also delete the behind face as well delete it and after that i will just select the my edge mode and i will select these two edge and after that i will just press the f so it will fill this shape something like that and again i will select the both shapes both edges by the way and i will just press the f and it will again fill the shape and same thing i will do with the bottom and top edges as well and now here you can see we have a, that kind of brick shape and which is look nice by the way so first of all i'm just going to scale it down a little bit yeah i think that is too much scale right now yeah i think that much is look nice and after doing the scale make sure you apply the scale always because if you're not going to apply the scale so maybe you will not get a desirable result every time okay so after doing the uh, scale so we have a, that kind of shape here which is look cool so i will just go to my modifier section and here i will just add one array modifier and i'm just gonna increase the at least uh, six yeah i think six is look nice and after that i will just uh, duplicate this array modifier one more time and i'm just gonna change the factor value on a y-axis to one so now here you can see we have a that kind of shape here so what i'm gonna do i will just decrease the count because we want on the two count here on the y-axis and now i'm just gonna again duplicate this array modifier and right now i will just change the factor value as a z-axis and now what i'm gonna do i will just uh, increase the number of count so i think six eight is look nice to me and we can also increase a little bit count of the y-axis yeah then now that's look nice okay so now here you can see guys we have a building model and which is look nice so we have a basic model now we'll just demolish this with the help of this pair by the way but before doing the demolish what i'm gonna do i will just go to my physics setting and here i will just uh, add the rigid body simulation into my uh, shapes okay because right now it have one shape so we can add uh, easily to a whole uh, copies of this one cube by the way and apart from that i will not change anything from here by the way and i will just add one plane pressing the shift a and i'm just going to scale this plane something like that and whenever you do scale make sure you apply the scale first of all now it's look nice now what i'm going to do i will just uh, go to my object settings and here i will just convert the shape into a mesh so now so now here you can see it is it's apply all the modifier at once and now it is a one shape here you can see so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select the all shape pressing the a then i will just press the 
uh, 3 for a face mode then I will just press the P for the separate selection and I will just do separate as a loose part and after that I will just exit from the uh, edit mode and then I will just press the right click and here I will just do set origin as a geometry so now here you can see every cube have their own origin point and which is we want by the way and now every cube is a separate cube now okay guys and here you can see every cube have a same physics setting which is we want by the way so right now here you can see if i'm just gonna play the animation so what will happen it's gonna fall down something like that so it's mean we need some collision object so i will just select this uh, plane here and i will just uh, add the rigid body and right now i will just add the rigid body type as a passive and apart from that we don't need to change anything okay and let's play the animation and let's see what's happening again so and right now everything is still okay now it's look cool to me now what i'm gonna do i will just add one a uv sphere here and i'm just gonna scale this uv sphere a little bit down and i'm just gonna apply the scale as usual and after that i will just do shade smooth and i will just go to my top view and i will just keep this uv sphere in front of this building by the way yeah yeah that's look nice and now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add some uh, animation into our sphere so what i'm gonna do i will just press the i and here i will just add one location keyframe and after that i will just go to my 60th frame and i'm just gonna move this sphere here to here i think that's look nice and after that i will just uh, again press the i and i will just press the again location so now here you can see we have all uh, that kind of animation here and which just look nice okay so now what will happen when that cube will hit this building that building will be demolished okay but right now nothing gonna happen so what we have to do first of all we have to just select our spare then we have to just go to our rigid body simulation and here we have to just change the type as a passive and we have to just uh, click this animated option as well because right now we have an animated object so we have to tell the rigid body we have our animated object so we have to check this animated option okay so after that it will work nicely so i will just check this as an animated as well now here you can see i'm just gonna add one camera angle here so i will just use this camera angle here something like that and i will just unlock my camera first of all so we can just manage the view yeah something like that okay and let's see what happened when that spear gonna hit this building by the way okay so i'm just gonna play the animation so now here you can see guys we have a perfect demolition here and which is look nice but we want some big demolition so for that what we have to do first of all we have to just uh, uh, move this uv spell a little bit here and i'm just gonna press the again i so we'll just get a, again a new keyframe and we'll also increase the speed of this uv spell so i'm just gonna keep it here to here and i will just press again the i so now here you can see we have a, a good speed in our uv sphere so now it will hit this building in a forcely so we will see a big uh, demolish by the way okay so let's see yes so now here you can see now that's look nice by the way and if you want to increase the speed of your uv sphere so what do you have to do you have to just decrease the frame rate from here to here and now here you can see we have a fast animation channel which is look nice by the way so now here you can see we have a good demolition here and which is look nice so here you can see guys which is that's look something like that yes that's very satisfying by the way okay guys so here you can see guys that's how you can create and that's how you can animate and that's how you can uh, demolish any kind of building using the rigid body in blender so here you can see guys that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you so i hope guys you learn something new today and i hope you also enjoy this video so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys